How's it going, everybody? I am back in Fallout 4, and today, on the 29th, I loaded into Fallout 4, and there was an update for Fallout 4. So, an update, uh, version 1.27 on console and everything today. Um, they added a couple things to Creation Club. So, the one that I'm going to be looking at today is the Settlement Ambush Kit. So, as you can see, it is 900 credits. Um, basically, this is just, a, it's a, it's a kit for, um, settlements. It allows you to have specific radio beacons or bait at your settlement. You can lure enemies in and have your automated defenses cut them to ribbons. And best of all, you can watch the action unfold utilizing a brand new security camera system. So, as you can see in these pictures, there's a couple different things that they added. It uh, looks like right there, there's like a shooting range type of deal, which is pretty awesome. And then also, looks like they've got the security cameras right there on the wall. And then here, I don't know if those are junk walls that are being added with this pack or not. I actually don't know what all comes with this pack. So we're going to see whenever we get in there. But... If they add those junk walls in, uh, it looks like they've got different spikes and stuff on top, so they might be new junk walls, new sandbags, stuff like that. Uh, if so, that's going to be pretty awesome, so I'm actually really excited to take a look at this. Alright, so we're going to take a quick look through of everything that was added with this pack. So I'm going to go through uh, USO integrated. Um, if you don't have USO or the USO integrated or the menu integration mod, I think it's just integrated now with any of the mods, uh, any of the USO mods, but there's a specific menu mod. Uh, but Creation Club should have its own section on the very far right side of the USO and it'll separate it all into its own uh, separate areas so we'll go through each of these and I'm actually really excited I took a moment to look through everything just a moment ago so there's a fresh meat lore um, purpose of this is to just draw in creatures so this one specifically will draw in creatures to a specific area on the map or of your settlement and you can have turrets set up there, whatever you need to. And then there's also a fake distress beacon. So this will also like lure the the human enemies into an area. So we've got both of these. Let me go ahead and get electricity out now to prepare for that. So not defenses, power generators. We'll just get so I won't turn these on yet because I don't want them to accidentally attract anything over here. Um but we'll be ready. And I'm also gonna grab a wall. from USO. I'm just going to place a wall down over here. Let's just do that. That's fine. So the next section under the Creation Club Settlement Ambush Raid uh, kit, ambush kit, is the defenses. So that's why I set up a wall is because there is a security cam monitor that you can actually place down and I don't know if it's just it must just be activated by area power so I guess I will also grab a connector and we'll just do this anyway it, it doesn't matter I guess but you see that all of these should have power now oh this is off so actually, we'll connect that. 
So. There. Okay. So it's because these are actually switches. I wasn't thinking about that. But you can see that there are monitors on here that you can place in a settlement. This is a little cleaner than I would expect. But it still is a pretty interesting uh, thing to have in your settlement. But the other big thing is they've also added security cameras. So if you want to place down a security camera and we power that. This is a glitch, if you click it. Power that. That turns on. And then, obviously it doesn't actually work, but you can see now that this is powered. I wish that it would actually do something. But, um, yeah, the security camera will actually check it'll watch the settlement. You're supposed to be able to activate it from a different location and watch it is what the, the thing said. I'm going to go in here to miscellaneous. I'm going to grab a computer. There's about a million wires here right now. We're going to wire everything up to a computer. And I'm going to have a look at that later. Uh, the next section is home decor. Not home decor, it's <laughs> uh, furniture. So the next set of furniture is this little thrown together shooting range. It actually provides happiness for the settlement. Uh, but you can see right here, it really just looks like some fences, some plywood, some pieces of wood and then a pallet turned over sideways with the bottom beam missing and then two posts holding it up and then there's all these different actually moving pieces that's pretty cool so there's moving pieces on this one but that's that's pretty interesting that one I actually like a lot so I'm going to try to clean that up before I do anything after. But then the next section is junk walls, which is probably my uh, favorite part of this. Um, it's the most interesting because these are like mid-height. So it's like another half wall on top of a, a regular junk wall. But these... Um, have little floor pieces up there, as you can see, and a Brahmin just spawned in in the sky over there. <laughs> that was weird. The aliens dropped it off. That's probably what happened. But these actually snap. So I really hope that's something now that people are able to like set up on a uh, console. If you have like Creation Club, is just regular junk wall snapping. That would be amazing. Uh, but there's these angled planks. So, uh, what's interesting about a lot of these junk walls, though, is you can see, like, these want to go into four or go into, like, one corner or whatever. But um, pieces like this are flat across the top. So, we'll place that down make sure it's flush with the edge of the floor and we'll place a couple of these they also come with these wall toppers so you can see these actually just place they snap right on top of walls and I'm hoping that we can use these on multiple walls but there's five variations for those and that's actually it for the junk walls. Um, but this is probably my favorite part of this so far. 
then am I missing something? Oh, I was going to put this in there. So this is a watchtower that they've added. Add six defense. You can put one person at it, obviously. They'll only do this one. It looks like just a regular watch post with some supports on the front. A junk wall with a couple pieces missing, like the regular like wall that would be on this specific junk wall is missing. So it looks a little scrappier. The supports are from... Uh, they match the same as these ones right here. But that's not that bad. And... You see they've got a staircase right here, goes right up, a couple floor pieces, and watch posts with a canvas roof, it looks like. That actually moves a little bit. I thought I saw it moving. Yeah. So it moves a little bit. You can jump through it, I just realized. Uh, but what is cool about these walls, I'll talk about this real quick, is whenever I was looking at it earlier, I wanted to test something, so I just went ahead and I went to, uh, not the walls, I actually don't know. So, <laughs> that's awesome. So, like, it looks like they've made it to where regular walls snap to these, and then let's test junk fences. Um, it doesn't look like the junk fences snap at all. Uh, no matter which ones you use, uh, let's look at the taller ones, see if they'll snap. See, these would be cool to have snap, but you see that they blend pretty easy too. So they'll actually work, I think, well with what we have already from mods. But what is cool is, like I said, they uh, they made it to where regular walls will snap to these. So that's that's really, really, really good. So it'll make it a lot easier to Im implement these into structures and settlements and stuff. But... The point I was getting to earlier was under the floor section, if you go and you just get any of these floors, you see that if I don't fall, they snap. So floors snap to the junk walls at the the place of support. So you can have like actual walkways around your settlement. I'm going to see if some other pieces do. We'll, we'll scrap these real quick. We'll go to scaffolding. We'll grab... Yep, so... The scaffolding pieces also snap. Which is awesome because they are going to look the scrappiest, I think. Also, the two long pieces... Like, two spaces look better, I think. And then also the warehouse pieces snap. Thankfully, all of these work. And then I was really interested in this. I didn't I didn't check to see if it would actually work. Concrete doesn't work. So let's grab just a regular wood piece. No, so it doesn't look like anything snaps to the the corner, like angled floor pieces, or walls, I'm sorry. But you can put pieces on these uh, these mid-range, or mid-height walls. So that's pretty awesome. And then the last section of this creation club pack for the self or settlement ambush kit is decorations and there's just some things that you can kind of get from like USO and other mods that add decorations but fat man crates you can get those now uh, without mods uh, there's a mortar shell so if you want to have these kind of 
laying around a mortar that you have placed someplace. You can do that. There's an open fat man crate. So there's that. And then there's also sandbags that actually come that are actually in the game. There's only one variation still. It's still exactly the same as the other one. I've seen it like a million times, so I know that it's exactly the same. But these actually feel like they're a little forgiving, and then also they sink into the ground automatically. So you can probably build like decent defenses with it. I'm hoping they just don't break if you run into them with power armor. Uh, I've not try it or anything but that's another thing that they added so this is everything that they've added with this pack and then I'll go ahead and mess with the computer real quick and see if you can do anything so there's nothing you can actually do with either or any of these things uh, on the computer you can see when you turn on this there's a breeze that blows out over this and a it actually sends out smoke. Well, not smoke, I guess. And then also uh, the false distress or the the fake distress beacon sends out a flare or whatever, or not a flare, a, a siren. And then there is this security cam, and when you click it, it actually lets you see, like, I assume any settlement. So. If I click view cameras, I've not actually done this yet, but you can see it's loading in to look at that settlement. So that's pretty amazing, actually. That's a really awesome feature. It does look like I can kind of move it a little bit, but... Oh, okay. I just tap buttons right there because I couldn't get it to. I hit X. Square. I think square is the button that you get to exit out of it. I click square and that worked. But you can see that it accessed this camera, showed me this area. And then that's how the security cameras work. Let's see how. But yeah, that that seems like that's everything from this pack. Uh, this is an awesome pack. I'm actually really pleased with this. I'm really happy that they made this pack think people might be attacking this settlement so I'm just gonna end the video here before I have to kill all these people and uh, thank you guys for watching uh, there'll be more of Nordhagen Beach coming up here soon and hopefully you guys will enjoy that and hopefully you guys enjoy this pack I would highly suggest it 900 is a little bit steep if you guys want to wait for a sale or something I wouldn't blame you but this is all really awesome stuff so either way I'd suggest getting it at some point so Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Check out some of my other videos while you're here. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing Fallout 76, more Fallout 4 stuff up until that point. I'm going to be doing all that stuff here in the future. So stick around. If not, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.